<laughs> we've, been we've been trying to reconnect now for a while. Hey guys. We've been trying to reconnect. Welcome so to the little pregame talk show. Yeah. Today. <laughs> I am Michael Bengalek and I am live here with Rub Shlomo Sprung. What's up? What's up? Hashtag. Do I have a hashtag? Sprung. I don't, I'm, that's not my hashtag. I, I take no responsibility for what you will or will not. I don't know what you're going to find. I have find. a Coke here. If I'm, it's a Diet Coke. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm. And for those of you who are interested, we already made the brothel before, and that's why you didn't, you didn't see it right don't now. Tell anybody. What do you mean? I want them to know. This is important. Okay. So We haven't done this in a long time, Mikey. This we is have like, not done this, this in a long is, time. We're finally back. Let's go back into some history here. Oh, yes. Okay. We had our show going, and uh, it was good. It was popular. It was popular. We were popular. I don't understand why, but it was. Who's asking? Who cares? And then yeah. traveling happened, and then God sent me all around the world, and then Shlomo Ooh, went all around the world. God sent you all around the world? No. Then who else? I don't know that I would blame God. And this is why we do this show. People have been blaming God for their problems since time immemorial, literally. I have news for you. God runs the world. Yes, he runs the world, but you make your own decisions. I don't know that he sent you all over the world. You decided to go gallivanting, and therefore you gallivanted. With God's permission. Well, he's not... I mean, did Hitler kill people with God's permission? Sure, everything that you do is with God's permission because he gives you free will. Yes, but God also grants you things. That's the way it also works. You don't just magically... Things just always happen. Things have to happen upstairs and be brought down to this world. Bro, if you take a dollar, you can buy this Coke. Right? What does God have to say about that? I'm just curious. In your <laughs> your worldview, what does God think about my ability to buy Coke for a dollar? Because Matis is with me. I'm just saying, Matis is with me, man. Of course he's if you with you. Say, listen, if you want to say, if you want to say that, that God brought a hurricane, which is fine, I'm cool with that. God brought a hurricane, Al Gore brought a hurricane, tectonic plates brought a hurricane, I'm fine. Okay? Brought a hurricane. You decided to go gallivanting. You decided to go to Uman, we're going to talk about that. You decided to go to Vegas, we're going to talk about that. I didn't go you to Vegas. Decided, you did go to Vegas. No, I did not. Before the thing, you were in Vegas. I did not go to Vegas. I lied. I went to, you, I went to your, I went to your uh, brother-in-law's house, we're which is kind of like there, Vegas. We're getting there. It is, okay. by the way, yo, my brother-in-law and sister, like, it's the best. The, the Shulks greatest. are the best hosts ever. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. We haven't spoken about that either. We should. We're gonna talk about something that happened that months ago. <laughs> well, no, I, I actually. We're I like catching up to it. We do. It's been a while. I gave I gave a class on it though. We did speak about it I a little there. bit. You know what it is though. I felt <laughs> right. You were there. I, I felt a little bit awkward speaking about my sister and brother in law because I, I have all these amazing feelings, but they're a little too real to like say to everybody. You but know? it's okay to share. I know it's okay. I just don't feel comfortable with it. I need more therapy. I know people that can help you. No, you don't. All those people rejected me. <laughs> I was willing to pay. They're like, you know. No. Mm. I want to quickly, before we get into the dirty business, talking about a lot of different things, just to give everybody a quick update on dirty what's going business. on right now with Lighthouse in general and mm. all the crazy, amazing events that are happening. Some of us are curious. Do tell. Tomorrow night, we have Nisim Black, who is actually going to be in town and giving a lecture on his journey to Judaism. Um, for those that are watching that are home or that uh, are not going to be home and are abroad, this are is going to... streaming it? Oh yeah, for sure we're going to stream it. Nice. But it's better in person, get a chance to meet Nisim Black. If you don't know who Nisim Black is... Wikipedia. He, Wikipedia him, YouTube him. He is an amazing person and a great artist. E-L-A-C-K. I don't know how to spell Nisim. If you guys like fun, I would say fun, <laughs> hip-hop, 2017 type of music with the Jewish spin, He's seen black right now. Like a dream. He's off the charts. He's, I have him on my CD, dream. Spotify, all day long. CD? I mean, did I say CD? I meant Spotify. <laughs> I said Spotify. I said Spotify. I said Spotify. And CD is something you go to bank, right? Thursday night, he Thursday will be night. here to be speaking at 8.30, Lighthouse Project. Be there. Be there. Be Sunday. There. Sunday. Sunday. Is the main concert with Nissin Black. And, and that is going to be insane. We sold out 500 tickets chain. in 48 hours. We still have some tickets left. You guys can go on the Eventbrite when we said website. sold out, we didn't mean sold out. We meant something else. No, we meant something else. Meant there something. are still tickets remaining. It'll end up probably Pay no meeting. attention to the words that we're actually saying. It'll be standing room only by the, by the time it's all said and done. But we're we'll expecting... Suspend you from the air. We're expecting a massive full crowd. And it's going to be amazing. Penny Schachter, which I'll be probably interviewing him in the next couple of days. Penny and Schachter. Why not Penny Schachter? I don't know, he's a nice guy from uh, Muncie, up in the north. He's like a John Mayer, but he's, but he's uh... Only less talented. Dude, Shlomo Michael Sprung is actually watching. That's... weird. <laughs> You're watching that's, yourself! That is... Dude. <laughs> dude, I'm, I, 
No. That could be my cousin, because I have a... No, that's me. That is that is actually you watching. Yo, that is... Yo, Shlomo, if you're watching, say what's up. What's <laughs> up? So, Sunday I night... To, I wanted to double our viewership. I want to say something. It's very important. For those that are going to be going to the concert, it's very important. 445 doors open. For those that got general admission tickets, okay, those 500 of you, they got them. Please get here on time. It's general admission, which means there's like 400. Oh yeah, Papi. Son Latinos. So they arrive late. Para los Latinos y los Judíos. Los Judíos Latinos is twice late. Okay, they're gonna come next Sunday for the concert. But. 445 be there guys. I'm telling you that it's gonna be packed and we only have X amount of seats after that Only after we're not, X, we're not, no we're, X. We don't have any more available seats. We need, you're gonna have to get no standing room only. One. X plus one. There is no X plus one. Only X. You missed the X? The better cool news after that. November 12th. So not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. Okay. We have Zusha. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Sharon Lankry just walked into the building. In the flesh. You guys are going to be watching Sharon Lankry. In the flesh. November 12th, Zusha. Don't watch my thing, watch his. This is better. Zusha, November 12th. Amazing Hasidic band. They are right now the talk of the Jewish world in regards to rock, and we're having them here. So they two, play rock? It's like a rock, like a folk. folky, mm -hmm. trippy. Trippy? We're gonna have alcohol here that night. What's alcohol? And uh, it's gonna be fun. Hmm. So, lots going on at the Lighthouse, and on top of all those things, mm -hmm. we are working on the Lighthouse website, which will have all the content that you're seeing, all the different classes, including this guy's. So, if you wanna go back to almost a year ago when he started uh, delivering classes, <laughs> you might not wanna go Just, to the beginning ones. Maybe they, were the better, ones. they were better in the beginning. I tried. I try to lower the bar as, as we continue, <laughs> really. And I've been very successful, I have to say. Mission accomplished, mission accomplished. Um, I did, actually, last year, last year my goal was uh, to, to sufficiently alienate my, uh, my viewers by angering them week by week. And I would like to say with pride and humility, and humility, um, raging success. <laughs> just, just raging success. And I, I'm quite proud of it, actually. So thanks. Thank you for noticing. Thank you for caring. Uh, and, and thanks for showing. His up. classes will be live. They will be live. They won't be live. They will be live tonight. Mine are live. But all the classes that we had, you we're live. We're You're gonna just have watching them now. We're gonna live. have them archived. Archived. <laughs> archived. Papi. Papi. Oh yeah, Papi. He's my eye. He's it's archived. He's archived. He's archived. <laughs> Next time he goes to the Publix, he's gonna be like, man, please have the cream cheese with chives. <laughs> You're gonna confuse it. That was horrible. Oh. I know. That's what Halal taught me. <laughs> don't don't you blame you God. You, you blame God. Halal. You blame Halal. <laughs> you blame all the things that really have nothing to do with whatever it is that you're discussing. Time, time, time. Time. To, okay. to my awesome vocabulary. To, to your very limited vocabulary. Amen. Can you hear <laughs> English and Hebrew. So. Lots going on, and we're very excited about what's going on. Can we talk about your Uman experience, please? Because okay. I've been waiting to get you on camera and talk to you about this. I kind of forgot all about it, right? I feel like it's like years you ago. You forgot about it. A little too much of the um, mm. Rosh Hashanah. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, what do you want to so know my, friend, my friend over here, Mike, you, you may know him, you may be acquainted. My friend Mike decided that... that it, no, I'm, I'm going to say this without being snide. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to try to say this without being snide. If I'm snide, then I... I'm gonna, I'm gonna endeavor mightily not to, be, not to be snide when I do this. Um, so, so my friend, my friend Mike traveled to the Ukraine um, for for the holiday of Rosh Hashanah, which is like the holiest day of the year, second holiest day of the year, and um, and he did this because there is a rabbi that is buried there, and the rabbi said before he died that if you go to his grave for Rosh Hashanah then when you die, he will pull you out of hell by your payas, by your side locks. Um, this is a true story, maybe. Can we and stop right there for one second? I'm not done with my story. Because that's not the whole, you're not, you're not saying the whole sentence and you have to correct yourself. I'm not done yet. <laughs> but that's not, not all he said. Yet. You didn't finish. I'm not sentence. finished with what he okay, said. finish the sentence. I'm not finished. So when I was in yeshiva and I heard this, I asked, I asked my friend's dad who was telling me this, I said, but what am I going to do? I don't have payas. He goes, no problem, we'll pull you out by the schnoz. And that's my story. <laughs> And now you may say, what was lacking? Okay, so I want to, I want to, I want to, you know, when I've heard that for many years now, right? This right. whole concept is going to pull you out of your pace. There's a part two to that sentence, and it right. was, 
like this. If you come Rosh Hashanah and you give a pruta, you give some oh, charity, yeah. hold on, you give a charity, and you say the Tikkun Klali, right. okay, right. I will pull you out from your pace. However, but I will pull you out of your from your pace if you do complete teshuva. Meaning, it's not like I'm just gonna go there and this is gonna happen. He says it specifically. If you a person does a complete teshuva, he will help you. Now that being said, can I ask you the obvious question? Here we go. If I do complete teshuva and I repent, why the heck do I need a magic rabbi? God oh says that if I do teshuva, he's got my back. So why do I need a rabbi and God? Why can't I just be like, I have God and I don't need your rabbi? So let's back up a second. I think you have to, and, and again, let's just be clear. You want some you, more you Diet have, Coke? You're gonna need some I'm going to need some Diet Coke. need some more Diet Coke for this. This is the difference yes. between the concepts of being connected to what a tzaddik is. Oh which is a very important thing mm -hmm. in the Hasidic world. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and what differentiates, right, from maybe the rationale or the, the viewpoint of how you may look at it, right? So from the Hasidic background, uh, being connected to a tzaddik is, is better than God. Not, that's, no. that's not, I didn't say that. Right, my mistake. You need to be connected to Hashem. But, or, a, but a tzaddik mm -hmm. is a person that you're connected to mm -hmm. that in a sense helps you and guides you to be also be connected to Hashem. That's cool, I'm fine with that. Um, Let me ask you a question. Let's you didn't back. answer my question. Though. What's your question? My question was, if you're saying that the only way that, and, and again, I know that my friends, I know, metaphor, metaphor. Herod says metaphor, metaphor. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure he'll elaborate. Um, you can call in, by the way. We're happy. <laughs> Listen, man, if you got something to say, I'm happy to take callers. My question is very, very simple, very linear, and, and the audience really is, is all welcome to chime in on this. If, if the rabbi is saying that he will help you mm -hmm. out of the depths of hell, if you do a complete repentance, then it would seem, if you do a complete repentance, that God has already said that He, capital H, will help you, and therefore you probably are not in need of Dumbledore. Okay, so let's back up again. Back up. We're backing up. I don't like the terminology Dumbledore. I'm sorry. So we need Nothing to retract that. that. Because we're talking again. This is the, this is I again. Love Dumbledore. By, by the way, you have to understand. Dumb, dude, Dumbledore's I the know, man. I know. I know. Shlomo Spong in, in, in what how he feels. We're buddies. We're buddies. And we're cool like that. We're okay. Cool. This is this is all about Am Yisrael, and we're all about yeah. having different ideologies. And it's fine. And he may believe in one way, and yeah. I may believe in another way. Different ideologies. But I love him. I'm different ideologies. I love him. Okay. <laughs> Even though he's completely going. Oh, he's gonna help oh. me do. To, Justin says he's gonna help me do too. Who will help you do the shuva? I guess that's the metaphor. Oh, Rabbi Nachman is going to help me do shuva if I go to Uma. That's right. He'll help you do a tikkun. He'll help you do rectification. He can't help me in Miami. He can't help you in Miami, but he also can help you when you go visit him. Is as as a soul who's hovering a sense in a sense. His soul is going to help me. His essence as a tzaddik is connected. They say when a person passes away, especially a tzaddik, mm -hmm. he's more alive when he passes away than when, than when he's alive in this world. Yeah, like he the can, Jedi. I saw that movie. He can help you a lot more in the next world than in this world. Obi-Wan Kenobi. No, not Obi-Wan yeah. Kenobi. Obi-Wan, I'll be much more powerful when you kill me. Listen, I get it. It, it's totally it's Obi-Wan. It's totally not crazy to believe that in Star Wars got so big right. based upon reality in this world, which That's... is this. <laughs> I want you all to know that the reason Star Wars is so popular is, is because of Robbie Nachman. Because of Robbie Nachman. <laughs> it doesn't like... surprise me at all. <laughs> it's not. It's not true. Okay, if you're watching this, it is what he true. just said is not true. It was actually very popular because it was very entertaining. That's the other reason. Um, but but let's go. But let's go back to Rachel Imenu. No. Justin Rachel Imenu, don't you remember what I talked to Rachel Imenu? Okay, so, she's the best, so, Mama Rachel. Yeah, yeah, Mama Rachel. Or, or, um, are you, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, I want to answer you that gone, question. I need to understand something. Yeah. Have you gone ever to pray at a grave of a tzaddik or the patriarchs or any of those places? Yeah, I'm not sure. Whose have you gone to? Um, I've gone to my grandfather's grave. Okay. And I've gone to the grave of. Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the Narath Machpelah, the double Why? cave. In Why did you go there? Um, tourist attraction. I heard they had really cool shirts. They actually don't have shirts. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. They don't give you that. They but say, they do sell. They have a shirt cool. that says, "I went. I went to the 
<laughs> they gave the patriarchs and all I got was stabbed. <laughs> I got, no, I was, I got stoned in the cave. All I got was stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nice. It's not nice. It's not nice. It's not nice. I, no, stop. Stop. I'm gonna go back now. Um, yeah, why did I go? Because I wanted to see it. Honestly, I was curious, I was curious to did see it. Did you just walk in? Did you pray inside there? Yeah, 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 yeah we prayed for sure, for sure. It's very like, yeah, man, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with inspiration. Like, when I, when I go to see my grandfather, um, who, who passed away in 1999, um, when I go to see him in Baltimore and I, and I pray at his, uh, Why do you pray there, though? Why? I don't really pray. Pray isn't the right word. When what do, I go what to do his, you do? You, thing, you, 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 um, what do you do? I meditate. What is that? It means that. How do you meditate? So I'll, I'll tell you. This is a personal thing for me. I don't know that everybody does this the same way. Wait, I just want to clarify. So you go to a grave yeah. of your grandfather, yeah. which is obviously totally fine. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and you meditate there. Yeah, I meditate. And why meditate there? Why not meditate in your own room? I do meditate in my own room. Um, but when when I go to when I go to see my Zadi. Um, there's, I can get inspired. It's inspirational for me. Okay. You know, so that's cool. And and the same thing. He was my idol. You know, he was my favorite person. Okay. He was my person. So and even though he's gone, like you said, like Obi Wan, right? Even though he's gone for a very long time, but I carry him with me. He's here and he's here, and I think about him every day, and and I try so, very hard so, to live my life in a certain way because of perfect his teaching. So can we just say, for the sake of trying to keep things even, even right? right. If if. Ravi Nachman, or let's just say, in the sake of the, the world of Chabad, they go to see the Lubavitcher Rebbe, for example. Right. Or in the Hasidic world, they go visit their other Rebbe. Sure. Yeah. And all those different places. I don't promise seeing Rebbe. Hold That's on. Cool. Okay. So it's to say that we're going to go visit there to get inspired. Yeah. Okay. No all problem. Good. All good. Right? All good. We're got, I mean, listen. All there's good. a. There's much more deeper stuff, but we're going on a very surface there level. We're going to go there to get stuff. inspired. I would like to hear the deeper stuff, but we can start at the. Well, I mean, look. Base if you want, if you want, start base level. If you start the Shem, mm -hmm. I'll be prepared. and I'll bring you a bunch of Torahs to bring down to show you. Torahs, like scrolls. <clears throat> No, like our Torahs that are written down in books. Like sources? You're reading sources that what? Yes. My sources. Like sources. My sources. Like sources. Yes. What, are, what, are these sources. sources. <laughs> what are these sources so, say? That, that will bring down what it means to be connected to a Tzaddik and what it can do for you as a person and, and, and your life's goals and your life's missions and, right. and uh, how oh. it can help you in life. Oh, I think, I think that having a relationship with a holy person can be very helpful, right? Just like, just like if, I'm, if I'm Jimmy Garoppolo, my stock goes way high because I've been chilling with Tom Brady for a few years. They're actually, Obviously, we're fighting. What? I just read the news today that we're fighting. But we shouldn't be talking about this. Whatever, man. And when you can fight with Brady. That's why he got like, traded. That's not why he got traded. <laughs> he got traded because they weren't going to franchise him. Anyway, dude, dude, I love Mike, but but don't don't listen to him when it comes to football. Dude, I saw okay? ESPN today. I was waiting in the car service. That's what I saw. If it ESPN inside. knew what they were talking about, they wouldn't be hemorrhaging viewers. Anyway, yes. anyway, we're going back, back to the topic. Okay, back Uman, in. the you, right? The you, <laughs> Uman, Uman. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is, I totally understand that if you have a connection with some guy and he's holy and he brings you up and he's a good influence on you, whether it's a holy man, a pious man, a, wi a wise man, a knowledgeable man, a good man, a kind man, and all of those things, there are mentors for you and that's awesome. And I understand that going to the Washington Monument can be inspirational because you think about George Washington and how he was a great visionary or, or a tzaddik, whatever it is, I understand how that works. However, however, that is not to say that that person who is no longer alive can actually have any tangible effect on you outside of how you bring his ideas into your mind. He can't get you out of hell. And if you do teshuva, you don't need him. So if, if he says that by connecting to him, you're going to become holy, I mean, well, or you can just connect to like the Torah. Alternatively, you can connect to the Torah or or it's called a mashpia, right? Like, like parents are saying, it's a, it's an, an influencer, right? There are people who are good influencers. I'm, I'm cool with that. That's good, man. I'm, I'm good with that. I think that in order to be like influenced by, by a person who has been, who has been um, gone for hundreds of years, you don't actually. You are factually wrong. I don't know which part. Can I just part stop you right there? I'm factually wrong. Can about I stop it? you for one second? Just yeah. one second. First of all, which part am I wrong about? Though I need you to tell me so that I can. Regarding learn. the aspect of, of uh, learning Torah, mm -hmm. when you learn the tzaddik's Torah, first of all, that is one way to connect to the tzaddik. 
right? And you are essentially going, obviously, like, you know, if you're getting a Torah class, if I go to your Torah class, right. my Torah class, and I connect with whatever you say, right? right. And I right. am walking out inspired. Right. And now I'm dri I'm drinking the Kool-Aid that Shlomo Sprong is yes. giving out. Terrible idea. <laughs> but I hear you, yes. Okay. okay. Yes, so what am I wrong about? I'm connecting with Shlomo Sprung. Now, on a higher right. level, on a tzaddik level, <laughs> right? Okay. Yes. With all due respect. No, no offense taken. But one day you can be. That's the good news. I have news for you. You can work on yourself. I am. I'm working on it right now. I'm trying to learn, baby. If that's the case, yeah. same thing with a tzaddik. Right. Now, again, you may believe and say, hey, mm. listen, once a, t once a tzaddik passes away, mm -hmm. I have, that's it. It's done. And I'm telling you that once a tzaddik passes away, there's stronger in the next world. Their you soul is free right? from their physical body and their limitations. Therefore what? Therefore they're, they can guide you and help you in a lot of different ways. The same way that they you went to guide go, I have news for you. When you went to go visit your grandfather, right. don't think and believe that right. he's not going, hi Shlomo, how are you? I definitely think that. He's if not, he's, yeah, he's not. Absolutely not. You don't believe that he potentially might be there. What do you mean there, dude? His How is he there? <clears throat> we put him in the ground. We know that a piece of a of a, of a, of a, of a I need fish <laughs> I'm working on it. He's doing to shuva. He's, he's doing to shuva tomorrow. I'll be swore on him. But we listen, need the beer. I love, the beer I love my wife, and and she made it very clear to me in no uncertain terms that if there would be a beard, there would be consequences. You feel me? I say that excuse every day. <laughs> it's the truth. But I'm growing it. This is the truth, whatever. But you were saying, you were saying, I want to hear, I want to hear, I want to hear what you're saying. So you're saying, you're saying, I'm saying what? that, oh, need more. I'm saying that there's a, that in, there's in the, in a neshama, there's mm -hmm. one piece of the, the neshama that still stays, first of all, by the grave. That's the one thing that's known through Kabbalah and Zohar, it talks about it. What does that mean? It means that there's still there, there's still a presence that's there. What does that mean? There's, he's just there forever, right? There's a piece of him that's there. What's he doing? Nothing. I'm not saying it's so. just there. Look, I listen. To him. He's gonna, he's just hanging out. He's just hanging out. He's just hanging funny, out. But it's What's not he just, doing? But it's not, not just, doing anything. It's not just about hanging out. But first of all, I, I'm kind of disturbed because I want to go back a little bit more. Let's you go back. just we said back. that if you go to your grandfather's grave, yes. you believe that there's actually no connection as if he's not going. Shlomo came to visit. Let's say you do Tehillim. Would you do Tehillim in front of your grandfather's grave? I mean, I'm not a big Tehillim guy. So okay, fine. Funny. So I won't even ask you if you take on Chloe, but that's a whole other story. So, but the point is that if Thank you, I love you too. Um, dude, the Gemara, here's, here's the thing, okay? The Gemara in Tracte Brachot asks the question. It says, that, I think it's the B'nai Rebichia. The sons of Rebichia, after Rebichia had passed, were going through some difficulty. It seemed, I think my understanding was that it was like a financial difficulty. And they said, does daddy know that we're going through this? And the Gemara goes on a three page tirade or back and forth as to whether or not the dead know anything. And, and the Gemara um, comes out that in very, very specific, very, very specific situations, it's possible that they can have an awareness. Very specific situations. Okay. And, and for every other situation, you don't have any indication that they do. And in fact, it comes from a pasuk in Kohelet. I want to tell you that it's not fair. And the dead know nothing. Okay, that's very true. That's all great. Now I want to tell you something else. Number one, Number one. not fair that you prepared and got your tour yeah. ready for this. Number two is, I will be back next week. You guys are all my witnesses, yes. and I'm gonna fire away, fire away and put him in his place in two I seconds. I did a lot of prep for this, guys. And he's gonna have to re-prep <laughs> himself again. I'm gonna have to re-prep. To know it's, it's how to defend intense. himself. It's gonna be intense. It's That's gonna right. be intense. That's oh, right. one second, Perez is calling. Guys, we just we have to do this. No, it's really Perez, right. why don't we just get you here? We're gonna invite you. Because we have to get off in a minute because we got a live stream. I'm gonna answer his call and we're gonna see what he's saying and then, then we're, gonna, we're gonna wrap it up for tonight and we're gonna do it again next week. We so gotta put a speaker on. I don't know if it's gonna carry that well. Okay, yeah, we, we got a caller. We got a caller, folks. Hi. We have a live caller. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Speaker. Here's the situation. I'm quoting. So here's the situation. You know 
We're discussing the whole concept of going yeah, to Uman, so you're not visit to... Rabbi Nachman, what it means to go visit to a tzaddik, whether it's Rabbi Nachman, whether it's from a Chabad perspective, seeing the Lubavitch Rebbe, maybe you're... Uh, He's saying that a righteous Rabbi person does not live a physical life. We know this already, that's what I'm saying. The soul goes up higher and they're stronger than ever. They have no physical limitations. You have to understand, you have to believe in the tzaddik. Tzaddikim are the real deal, man. Right. It's an Ashkenaz guy, guys. An Ashkenaz, true, litvish, litvish. Like, this is the guy who was fighting the Chabad people and all the Hasidic people when they were trying to break out. This is the guy. So for you out there. influence remains? So does Galileo's. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. I'm wrong. Galileo's Galileo's influence is not the main. Thank you for calling. No, Baron, you just... Okay, let's talk about. All right, we're listen to me. Let's. Else. You want to continue the Uman conversation? I do, but poor parents, you hung up on him. Because parents need to Bro. clock in here. We got to split the screen. I'm sorry. Whole I'm call. sorry. We got to have you call in properly so that we can do this. <laughs> we're gonna do this next week. Yo, next week, WrestleMania, WWF. I'm dating myself. WWE. Is that what it is? WWE. Next week, same time, same place, same channel. Peace and love. Are we getting out? Aren't we getting off? Isn't that why you were telling me that we screw this? No, 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 oh, no, no, I totally lied! What are you doing? No, no, what? Can we talk about Uman for a second? Yes! Okay. <laughs> so you asked me the question, like, you asked me a question, the general idea is you're visiting the Tzadik. Right, visiting the Tzadik. Now, there's a, lot of to- there's a lot of Torah behind it, and I want to say something else, isn't that interesting? Maybe. Moshe Rabbeinu. Yeah, Let's Rabbeinu. talk about Moshe Rabbeinu. Let's talk about him. Who is Moshe Rabbeinu to the Jewish people? What was his Uncle Mo. What was Uncle Mo? Okay. So Uncle Mo, right. his job was... Tio. Was, Tio Moshe. Tio Moshe. Who's actually my Tio. Tio Moses. Tio Moses. Yeah, Tio Moses. What was his connection to Am I'm, I'm a heretic. <laughs> I get at least two of those every week. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Tio Moshe, yes, what are you saying? What was his connection to Am he gave them the law, right? He's the lawgiver. He's the law. He's the Rabban Shekol He is the teacher of all of the subsequent prophets. He is the he is the Anav Mikol Adam Asher Al Pnei Adama, the most humble of all men. I mean, I don't understand exactly what it is that you're asking me. Do you believe that? Do you believe that Moshe Rabbeinu was a tzaddik? Yeah, man. Of you do. Yeah. Okay. Why is it? Why is it? that if you think about it, we had to get everything through Moshe. Moshe got it from Hashem. And Moshe has transmitted everything to us. Right. Okay? When it came to the concept of uh, even going back to um, bringing the Korban, going back to the time of the desert, who did the Jewish people, did the Jewish people bring it themselves inside to the Korban? Yes. They did, they brought it themselves, they actually brought it into the main area? They brought, until they had a, until they had a Mishkan, of course they did. But, but who was the not man? only that? Was, there a, was there a real person or not? No. Was Moshe Rabbeinu or Aharon the people bringing in the temple? In the, in the temple, yeah, you have to. Have what about? To, a, what about? I know, I understand it, but what about in the desert? Um, it doesn't seem to. You could have a. You, you were allowed to have a private altar in your backyard. I think until they made the Mishkan um, uh, set foundationally. Until it was foundational, I think we're still allowed to use Bamot. Throughout Jewish um, history, we've always had a very big figure. Big figure. Whether it was Tzadik, whether it was Moshe Rabbeinu, and, and going down through history, as a main person that we had as a uh, liaison yeah. or a person that connects to Hashem on a higher level than us, that we had to go through sometimes. No, 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 no. I'm no, with you on the not. first on the first part. Yes, we have a person who can lead us a hundred percent. But lead us, my hand gets like swallowed Swallow. by your hand. Yeah, hey there, you look familiar to me. He's from well. I grew up in Hollywood. How you doing? Well, that's why. Pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure. Okay, uh, how about you? dude. Hey, love you. Listen, dude, I have to go because because we have to get we have. To, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, All I'm the so celebrities many, are coming out. out. Yeah, I gotta it's go. Start go. started. Guys, today. I'm so sorry. Lo siento, pero ne- necesito a. How was it? It's an exit. Salida. Salida. <laughs> I, I got it. Go. Next week we'll be back. We're, we're gonna back. Be, we're guys, continuing the fight. We're fighting the about heretic this. is coming to the tzaddik, and we're gonna go at it. So. And we're gonna talk about other really amazing things. Amazing things. The, the movie. The movie. What's that movie called? One of us. One of us.
Next week we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna dissect this movie. Dissection. And then the orthodox, Dice. modern orthodox problem. We're gonna dissect that too. Ooh. I can't wait to talk about this with this guy. Oh, he's gonna get it from me. Lit up next week. See you guys next week. Tomorrow night, DC Black, Sunday concert. Love you all. Mm. Have a wonderful I night. Do this. Tune into all the classes, especially this guy. This guy.